Welcome back to the Roadshow. This morning in the buzz brought to you by the Comedy Connection. There are just over 67 million people in the United States that are bilingual, and that's equivalent to 20.6% of the population. Very cool. So a new study reveals that Chinese is the most mm -hmm. popular language to learn across the U.S. That is followed by Japanese, English, Spanish, and this one was kind of surprising, Croatian. Now here in Rhode Island, the top languages people are learning right now in this order are Chinese, Croatian, Norwegian, Japanese, and Spanish. The most expensive language to master mm. is Korean, and it's recommended to, to dedicate a minimum of 2,200 hours to learn wow. and spans 88 weeks. The cost is over $140,000. That is just incredible. That's unbelievable. That's incredible. And I am always impressed by someone who, first of all, knows a second language, which right. I think, which I would love to be able to do, or knows a, a, a you know a, sec a third, a fourth, or a fifth language. That is just mind blowing. Yeah. No. I mean, I'm definitely not bilingual, but right. you know, listen. I mean, we all learned um, either Spanish or French, right? Or they had Latin. Those are the three languages that you could take in middle school. Mm -hmm. And now as a mother, I've always wondered why we don't start the kids as early as possible. I agree. Like we're starting in, at least I did, in sixth grade, and I feel like it's still the same now, mm -hmm. at least in you know some of the public schools in Rhode Island. But imagine learning in kindergarten you would where you up, would be at sixth grade. Picked it up immediately. 100%. Yeah. So it is, it is sad because it is something that I always wish I had like that extra skill to speak at least one other language. Right. Is there one that you'd like to speak? Like do you think, I mean, you, you try, like if you're traveling, you know, different places in the world, a lot of times it's usually Spanish. Yeah. They, that someone will be speaking or well, French is also a big one that a lot of uh, Spanish or French are a lot of is, is a big one that a lot of Europeans will be able to to speak so no matter where you go you can kind of you can kind of get, get around by, get yeah. by on those on those two languages I mean Spanish I mean right. I took um, gosh all through middle school and high school and like I was saying to you guys in the Facebook live I feel like I could get around maybe like if we went on like a, sure. a vacation and like um, we had to speak Spanish I, I could understand certain things but I certainly could not have conversations right, right. like I could order I could find like things, but I could not sit and have a intelligent a conversation. conversation. There's no way. Right, what about right. you? Um, I would love to learn how to speak. Uh, I think Spanish would be great. Actually, you know, I mean, the other one, and just because of my, my father's side of the family, they will speak, like even growing up as a kid, they would speak Arabic. Okay, yeah. And I'd sit there and go, oh, I didn't know. I could pick up some of the swear words. Yeah. You know, that was always yeah. the things you usually, you, you can usually pick up, for, first of all. But I would like, I would love to. Did your father speak that? Uh, he understood it, but he only understood the bad words. <laughs> that, and he was very quite fluent in those very, uh, a lot of times. Um, I would like to learn Spanish, French. I would like to, I would like to learn yeah. as well so that you could get by. When my daughter was going to, to, uh, to Germany for school, she had to learn, you know, or at least understand a little German right. before she could actually get to school school there. She didn't speak it, but she understood when they were talking back. Could she navigate okay she there could without... She could pretty much navigate, yeah. or if she saw the signs that were up, she knew what, she knew she knew what, she knew what it meant. That's but I cool. think given more time, she probably would have been able to pick it up. Yeah, which yeah. would be great. Which would be, which would be great. Now, Brandon, you, got, you can speak a little French. A few things here. Number one, <laughs> yes. I speak English and, of course, the language of love. Yes. As Will pointed out earlier. Yes, yes. <laughs> but I'm also fluent in Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> oh, yes, Bruce <laughs> Springsteen, too, yeah. And Metallica. Right. Mm -hmm. I am fluent in rock and roll. But, yeah, I took uh, French, as I told you guys, from K through 8, and then I took it again uh, freshman, sophomore, junior year of high school. Awesome. So I speak a little... French. Yes. En français, if you That's will. That's kind of like a language of love, too. It's, right? it's, it's, it's like it a romantic one language. It's, it's one yeah. Romantic I, I, it, I think it's really nice if you can converse a little bit. I don't know enough to really hold a full conversation, but every now and then you drop one in, a word in, and you know, impress mm -hmm. a few people. Yes. 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 Oui. A little date to a French restaurant, <laughs> order in French. Yes. Les French fries. Yes. yes. Stupid old joke. Let's check in with our viewers, see what you have to say about this topic right here this morning when it comes to languages and what you speak. Linda's up first. How cool is this? She says, I can communicate in American Sign Language. Oh, that's, oh, cool. that's a great That's language. really yeah. good, yeah. Awesome, Linda. And I know some Spanish, very nice. Dennis chimes in with, I always wanted to speak the language of my heritage, Polish. Gary is up next. Gary, where are you? Gary. Here he is. I speak fluent Portuguese, and it's helped me many times in life. I do know Portuguese. It's Being probably Portuguese. helped him when Natalia's on the road show. Yeah. <laughs> from Natalia wants us all to speak Portuguese. <laughs> and Jeannie closes out the comments today as only she can. I can speak several languages, but will only the dirty words. Atta girl. Like, <laughs> nice job, Jeannie. <laughs> That's what I learned in high school, and she leaves us with J'adore les road show. Oh. How about that? Ah. Merci. Mademoiselle. <laughs> right, uh, I knew I, I knew it was time. You had it, right? It was you had it in you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Bruce Springsteen and Lay E Street Band, you know, let's <laughs> ready for the show tonight. Oh, Maybe I'll do the whole show en français. en français. Follow us at The Road Show on Facebook, Twitter, and lay Instagram, and you never know, we may read your comment right here. Don Lay Road Show, in The Road Show. There you go. Earn the <laughs>